Welcome to part two of our two-part video demonstration on how to upgrade ESXi hosts with vSphere Auto Deploy. In part one, we showed you how to prepare for the host upgrade by importing the ESXi 5.5 image profile and updating the deploy rules on the Auto Deploy server. In part two, we will show how to perform the host upgrades and how to update the host profile following the upgrade. With the ESXi 5.5 image profile copied to the Auto Deploy server, and the auto-deploy rules updated, we are now ready to upgrade the hosts. To do this, we simply reboot the hosts. Prior to rebooting the host, we place it into maintenance mode. We see in the recent tasks column that the virtual machines are being migrated off the host, and the host is placed into maintenance mode. After the host is put into maintenance mode, we reboot it. We switch to the host console and reboot the host. The host Pixie boots and contacts the auto deploy server, which then copies the ESXi 5.5 image profile onto the host. After the reboot, we can see that the host is now running ESXi version 5.5. We switch back to the web client and refresh the page. We see that host ESX01A is back in the cluster and is now running ESXi version 5.5. We will now repeat the upgrade on the second host. Again, we start by putting the host into maintenance mode. After the virtual machines have been migrated and the host placed into maintenance mode, we switch over to the console and reboot the host. Just like with the first host, the second host Pixie boots, connects to the auto deploy server, which then installs ESXi 5.5. The second host has finished rebooting and it is now running ESXi 5.5. Switching back to the web client, we refresh the page and verify that host ESX02A has successfully rejoined the cluster. The host upgrades are now complete. Both hosts are up and running ESXi version 5.5. The last step in our upgrade is to update the host profile that is used to configure the hosts. Currently, we are still using the 5.0 version of the host profile. We need to create a new 5.5 version of the host profile. To do this, we go to Home, and then to Host Profiles. Here we see the existing 5.0 host profile. Since our hosts are now running 5.5, we need to create a new host profile based on ESXi 5.5. Click on the Add button, pick a 5.5 host as the reference host, give the host profile a name, and click Finish. With the host profile created, the next step is to update the rules on the auto deploy server to use the new host profile. Switching back to our Power CLI session, run the get deploy rule set commandlet to see the active rule set. Here we see the existing host profile rule named assign 50 host profile. We will create a new deploy rule to assign the new 5.5 host profile by running the new deploy rule commandlet. We assign this rule to all hosts that boot with an IP in the range of 192.168.110.51 to 192.168.110.60, and where the vendor is VMware Incorporated. Next, we run the Remove Deploy Rule commandlet to remove the old 5.0 rule from the active rule set. We then run the Add Deploy Rule commandlet to add the new 5.5 rule to the active rule set. Here we see our three active rules. The 5.5 host profile rule, which we just added, the 5.5 image profile rule we added earlier, and the assign cluster rule. Next, we have to update the host records that are saved on the auto deploy server. Running the test deploy rule set compliance commandlet, we see that the auto deploy server shows that both hosts are still configured to use the old 5.0 host profile. To update the host records on the auto deploy server to use the new 5.5 host profile, we run the test deploy rule set compliance commandlet and pipe the results into the repair deploy rule set compliance commandlet. We can then rerun the test deploy rule set compliance commandlet to verify that the auto deploy server was updated. With this change, our hosts are now configured to use the 5.5 host profile. This concludes the upgrade. This completes our two part demonstration on how to upgrade ESXi hosts using vSphere auto deploy. Thank you.